What is going on my Super Saiyan witches? Ryan Style here. Today bring another random lock from Goodwill, which I actually went ahead and already opened. I didn't look through the cards yet, but I did open it because I thought it was something else and I was wrong. So we got another random lock and again, similar to the one I did the other day, this wasn't that expensive. Once again, I saw a bunch of cards. It's actually not that many this time. It was only like, uh, I want to say 40 or so, something like that. I saw a random lot and I was like, yeah, why not? Let's bid low on it. And I think I ended up getting this for like 20, well, not even 20 bucks. It might have been like 15 bucks. I don't know. It's very, very cheap. Uh, and also, by the way, I got this as well, which I'm going to open up on this video. This is actually from a new comic store that I found uh, nearby. Well, not really nearby. It was like a 45 minute drive. But a brand new comic store that I found that sells Pokemon cards and actually had these two giant binders. No, wait, it was four binders. Just kidding. It was four giant binders and I kind of went through everything. I was like, you know what? I'll buy this, 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 and that. I'll open that in here as well. But for now, let's get into the good old stuff. Now, as always, I like to give stuff out. So if there's a card that you see in this slot, not this one, but this slot that you are interested in, let me know by just commenting down below and then I'll pick a random person that can get one of these cards. Unless it's something that I want to keep, in which case I'll let you know which cards I plan on keeping from this lot. But yeah. Let's see what we got. So we're gonna kick it off with an Erica's Gloom, a Blaine's Rapidash, Koga's Weezing. Okay, so we got a Jim Hero set. Is that this is this is all Jim Heroes? Jim Heroes cards so far. Brock's Onyx, Erica's Execute, Blaine's Charmander. Ooh, here we go. That, that's good. We got a Misty's Charge. Oh snap, that's good too. We got a Misty's I almost said Misty's Charizard. Misty's Gyarados. It's a bit warped. What's the condition looking like? Let's see. Uh outside the fact that oh wait a minute, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not that good. The top left is kind of beat, and the back is, this is pretty badly warped. It's not bent, but it's warped, so, yeah, for the most part, it's in good condition, so I can't get mad at, ah, wait a minute, there's a random crease right there. Boom! Why is it, how was that crease, crease even made? It's not even bent, it's, just, it's literally just like there. It's like they, they crease just the picture aspect of the card, it's weird. Everything else is pretty good condition, but let's go ahead and put that to the side, that's actually not bad of a card. All right, I think I feel like I saw that Misty's Gyarados in the thumbnail when I placed a bid on this lot. So we got Giovanni's Needle King, which also, oh, that's cool too. Wow, this is like a complete gym hero stack here from the looks of it. Okay, let's see, the Needle King is looking pretty good. Let me look at it off the camera because I am looking at, you know, IRL view and the camera view. The back isn't that great. It's played, uh, but for the most part, it's pretty good. The hollow has a lot of scratches. Okay, so it's, it's not that hot. Okay, Sabrina's Gengar. Uh, here we go. Let's see how this looks. I got uh, Sabrina's Gengar before from Goodwill, but it was pretty scratched. And it looks like this is the same situation with this one. It is not only just scratched in the hollow, but also there's that once again there's a crease. There's like a, there's like a random crease on the card, and I don't know how that's possible because the card is not bent. Like, look, it's not bent. How is only one side creased? That doesn't make any sense. How? How sway? How? Whatever. For now, it's a win because again, I only paid like 15 bucks for this lot, so whatever. Fingers crossed that we get something else in here, but I feel like we probably won't. Brock Sandshrew, Jigglypuff, Vulpix, um, Koga's Pidgey, Ponyta again, Misty Shelter. I feel like whoever had these cards must have probably like opened like three packs or something, and this is basically are the contents of those packs. Koga's Grimer, Koga's Grimer, Weedle, and Geomani's Magic Carp. Hey, this is kind of nice. I like the art on this. Okay, so that's it. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna hang on to these. So. Maybe I won't do a giveaway on this video specifically, uh, unless you guys want the on comments, I guess. I don't know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But even though these are not the best condition, I know Kirobug is gonna want this. And I actually don't mind getting both of these because I don't have them. Uh, well, I have this already, but it wasn't that good of a condition before, so I'd rather hang on to both, all three of these. So I'm gonna hang on to these. Again, if there's any on comments that you guys might want out of this, then I guess let me know in the comment section below. Is this a dud? Uh, neutral, neutral, I mean, if I spent like 50 bucks on this or more, then probably would have been dubbed. But the fact that I got this literally for like 15 bucks, I can't get that mad. All right, so when I went to the store earlier, the comic shop that I was talking about, look at that Charizard. Um, they had a bunch of old card binders that they were also selling. And within those binders, they did have a bunch of pretty decent hits. However, the only reason why I didn't buy everything is due to the fact that, well, uh, the conditions weren't that great. For example, they had a, a base set two Charizard that they was trying to sell for 40 bucks, but it was like really scratched like the condition was like probably as good as this so It was like decent um, But as far as the actual card itself, it was scratched and a big set to Charizard isn't that valuable as is I mean, it's like maybe a hundred bucks at a PSA 10 or something like that. I don't really know um, Maybe a little more than a hundred bucks, but it's, it's not that valuable because basically for some reason wasn't that popular 
So I didn't get that. Then they also had a base set, regular Blastoise. But once again, the hollow was scratched up and the back wasn't that great. So I was like, eh, it's, it's not worth it. So yeah, I, I left those. But I did pick up some, so let's see what we got. So first things first. We got this Jirachi that actually Kirabug picked out herself. It's a promo Jirachi. She likes her Jirachi, so I figured, oh yeah, sure, whatever, we, we can get this. This, of course, Mewtwo, Rock and Mewtwo, that is actually, and this actually was pretty good shape. I might send this in to get graded. I already have one as a PSA 9 in English. Oh, actually, just kidding. The top, uh, the top right corner isn't too hot. As you can see, there's like a little, a little ding at the top there, but outside of that, it's pretty good shape. And like I said, I think this car was over like three bucks. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? The beauty of going to comic shops or card shops around town is they don't often sell graded cards and they kind of just sell cards, uh, I don't know, based on their own prices. So outside the Blasters and, and the Charizard that they're trying to sell for like 40 and 29 bucks, which were good prices, but bad due to the fact that they were in good shape. They had some pretty good prices. So I highly recommend all you guys out there, if you are trying to find some old Pokemon cards, you should try try going to um, you know find shops around town and see you know what you can get out of those. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty beat on the side. It, this is, oh, it's a Charizard, okay. Yeah, uh, I believe this is from, um, I wanna say the black and white era. I'm not sure what which one it's from, it's from 2013. But I mean, it was. I think they only sold me this for like two bucks. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll take it. As you guys know, I love my Charizard. It is pretty scratched, as you can see. In fact, this card is just as scratched as the Charizard was from Base Set 2. As you can see, there's a bunch. So this is a good comparison to what that Base Set 2 Charizard was looking like. But I figured, you know what, two bucks, why not? You know, I can't say no to that. It's basically free. Then we got this Wooper, which is actually, as you guys can guess, is, is a Kirabug's choice. It's a Delta Species Leaf-type Wooper. Uh, she saw it, she's like, I need this, I need this. I was like, sure, whatever. And finally, we got another Charizard, and again, I can't, I'm not really sure what this is from, 2012 from the looks of it, I assume the black and white era once again. I will look it up uh, probably when I'm done with the video, but I figured, again, I think this one cost me like five bucks or something like that, I don't really know. Well, it wasn't that expensive. This entire lot of cards that I got from uh, from the shop only ended up being like 20 bucks. I figured, whatever, whatever. Nah, why not? I'll take it. You know, two Charizards, a Rock and Mewtwo, give it to me. So yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the end of today's random lots. I'm gonna try to find some more, obviously on eBay, not eBay, on, on Goodwill. I've not tried getting lots on eBay because I don't trust those as much. The reason why I like getting lots from Goodwill is just due to the fact that uh, they don't really have that many people on there hunting cards. Actually, I noticed a lot of you guys have been bidding on cards on Goodwill, which is kind of funny and cool, actually, if you ask, if you ask me. But I feel like you have a better chance of finding a more honest um, bid on Goodwill than eBay, because eBay will get those people who will try to like, you know, trick you into buying their lots and say, oh yeah, there's the first edition Shadowless Charizard in this lot, buy this for 50 bucks, and again, and clearly it's not in there, because they're just trying to sell random lots, and they try to, you know, get you to buy their lots by giving them, uh, by having those keywords in their titles, but in all reality, you, you know that they never plan on including those. Whereas if you see a lot on Goodwill, and you see that there's like a Shadowless card, and it's like, oh snap, you know, let's give it a shot, let's see how this works out. So yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye out on more lots over the course of the next couple of days. Hopefully we can get some more fairly soon so I can open it on the channel. And if not, well, you know, I got some more box openings coming out sometime very, very soon. With that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like right below in the comment. Let me know your favorite cards of the pool. If there's any card that you guys would want out of this lot, I mean, they're in pretty decent shape. Some are kind of played, but for the most part, they're in pretty decent shape. If you do want something out of these, then I just let me know in the comment section below and then I'll do the random comment picker thing and I'll choose the winner. Remember, these right here are not up for grabs. And I guarantee you there's gonna be that one person in the comments that's gonna be like, oh yeah, let me get these, these right here. No, no, you stop it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the day. My name is Ryan Style, and I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.